YouTube fans. Today I'm going to show you how to install, open, and run Project 64 1.6 on a Mac. First, you'll need to download Crossover and Project 64. You'll find those two links on the info on this video. Alright, so once you have those downloaded, open Crossover. You'll get a pop-up like this. <clears throat> the pop-up will say, Insert and install CD. Run the programs you've installed and other features. You'll worry about that later. Let's start with installing Crossover. Click Crossover Software Installer. That'll bring you here. Choose Install Unsupported Software. Continue. Create a new bottle and let's just name it Project 64. Create. Alright. So, just so you all know, you should use the ROMs that you own on video games. Don't download illegal ROMs because that's illegal. Let's just wait for this to load here. Any second. Hurry up. Come on. Come on. Also, you notice there's. Never mind. Choose install file. Press install. I have it on my desktop, but it's up to you where you downloaded it. Open the file.exe for Windows. And crossover will do the rest. Then you get this pop up install shield wizard. Alright. Next. Next. Install. Finish. See, crossover is doing everything for you. Pretty much, you just need to open the file. It's not that hard, but I know it's hard for some people. And here you have Project 64. Let's just drag that to our desktop. Alright. Finished. Now, open Project 64. You don't really need this window. And it opens with crossover. So, you can select your language. I prefer English. Click OK. So here's Project 64. And file. I like to uh, choose ROM directory where if you just store all your ROMs in a folder, you can just open them all right here. So I store it in my emulator folder. ROMs. And here's the list of ROMs I own. Now, to choose a ROM, it's as simple as double clicking it. Sometimes this may not work, and it's just easier to uh, just, you can just go to File, Open ROM, and that'll do it for you.